Yorut Bey Nafis Naval now the details. Evening course at public universities hampers the regular academic activities, said the President Antarka University Chancellor Mohammed Abdul Hamid. He said this while speaking to the 52nd convocation of Dhaka University on Monday. Abdul Hamid slammed the leaders of Dhaka University Central Student Union, Dakshu terming their activities as controversial. The campus premises is abuzz with the graduates as the convocation is underway at the university central sports ground. Nobel laureate and director of Tokyo University's Cosmic Ray Research Institute, Professor Dr. Taka Ki Kazita, Grace this ceremony as convocation speaker. He has been accorded Doctor of Science degree. In many departments, there are more professors than general teachers. Being appointed in administrative posts, many forget they are teachers. Daksu leaders should press these demands. Why the Chancellor would talk about this, they hardly discuss these matters. Instead, whatever I hear about them, I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to demean anyone speaking further. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has urged all men and women to be vocal against gender discrimination, terming the torture on children and women as a mental disease. She said this while distributing Begum Rokia Podok at Osmani Memorial Auditorium in the capital on Monday. Government has succeeded in establishing feminine rights, added she. Torture on children and women has spread in the society like a mental illness. Actually, men are doing these tortures. They should understand that what they will do if their own children or daughters are tortured by others. So building awareness is a must. Men and women all should be cautious so that none of them do torture or are tortured. We formulated the law, but only law is not adequate. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fukrul Islam Alamgir alleged the present government has been remaining in power forcibly by destroying electoral process through corruption. He said this while placing red at grave of Zia Rahman in the capital. Country's economy is on the verge of collapse due to corruption. The electoral process is being destroyed through corruption. The present government remains in power forcibly. None will be allowed living in peace with the money earned through corruption, said Anti-Corruption Commission ACC Chairman Iqbal Mahmood. He said this while speaking to a program in the capital on Monday, marking the International Anti-Corruption Day. The fight of the anti-graft body will continue till the corrupts are brought to justice, added he. <laughs> We have an equivocal pronouncement for the bribe taker, hoarder, grabber of illegal assets that wherever you stay, either in home or abroad, the Anti-Corruption Commission is staging you and it will not let you live in peace. Prominent Professor Ojoy Roy has died in a Dhaka hospital at the age of 84. He breathed his last while undergoing treatment at the capital's Burden General Hospital at 12.30 a.m. on Monday. He was on life support at the hospital's intensive care unit for around a week. Professor Ojoy Roy was admitted to the hospital on November 25 with fever and breathing problems. The doctors started giving him artificial ventilation support two days later as his breathing problems deteriorated. He is father of slain writer blogger Obhijit Roy. Founder of Shikha Andalun Monchu, Professor Ojoy Roy was also one of the founders of Ekatur Ghatok Dalal Nirmul Committee. After retiring from Dhaka University's physics department, he worked as the University Grants Commission professor there. The freedom fighter of 1971 Liberation War actively took part in the 
1952 language movement and the 1969 mass uprising as well. Cold has gripped the North Bengal accompanied by light icy wave leaving peripherals in sufferings. Besides, many other areas across the country have been experiencing chilly atmosphere since a couple of days. On Monday, the lowest temperature was 9 degrees Celsius recorded in Pontocar. Light freezing breeze hovering over the Lanmonihat district. People of lower income are suffering a lot due to cold wave and dense fog. In Takoga, the cold is condensed at night accompanied by the wintry air of Himalayas. Scores of children and old age people have been attacked by pneumonia, coughing and other cold diseases. Police have arrested the wife of expatriate in connection with triple murder incident at Baniapara in Burishal. Meanwhile, two men reportedly confessed on Sunday to killing three people. Burishal Senior Judicial Magistrate Mohammed Inatullah recorded the statement of the Jakir Hussein and Jewel at night and sent them to jail. On Saturday, police recovered bodies of Muriam Begum and her son-in-law, Mohammed Alum, from her house at Sholia Bakpur while the body of Moriam's nephew, Muhammad Yusuf, was recovered from a pond behind the house. Moriam's son, Sultan Mahmud, filed a case over the murder. Today is December 9. On this day in 1971, valiant freedom fighters liberated Netrakona and Korimpur in four. Foridpur from the clutches of Pakistan occupation army after a nine-month war of independence. Marking the day, people from all walks of life paid tribute to the martyrs by placing wreaths at memorials in Nitrakola on Sunday. A discussion was also held at public hall after hoisting national flag along with the flag of liberation war there. In Foridpur, the district administration paid homage to the martyred freedom fighters by placing wreaths at their graves in the town. A prayer was also held for the departure the souls of the freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives during the liberation war at Kurimpur.